Hello guys! Today we're going to build a simple website using PIMCore. We're going to create our first controller and view and we're going to use a simple bootstrap template to get it done. So first make sure you either followed our recent tutorial about how to set up PIMCore using Docker. Um, we're going to link that down below in the description or you can use a repository where you can get the latest code from this tutorial, which will also be the uh, link down below. So how to start? First, if you uh, started just now and you followed the, the repository, uh, you have all the commands up there, but to make sure you're gonna use docker compose up D, which starts all your Docker containers, and you are good to go. So go to localhost admin, and you should see pretty much this. Now, Pimcore works using documents. Here you can, this will be your uh, URL tree. So if you create a document called test, your URL will be localhost slash test and you can exit it with uh, you can um, access the document with this URL. First we're gonna need a controller so Pimco knows where to start. There are already two controllers in here the default controller and the web to print controller. I usually don't mess with those I create my own controllers and leave them as is. Here you got just gonna create a new file. I'm gonna call it content controller. Oops. Uh, rename PHP of course and start a new PHP file. Our namespace is gonna be app controller and the class is gonna be content controller which extends the front-end controller, and we're gonna create a portal action. Here we're gonna render content portal.html.twig. Okay, Pimco is complaining because it's fetching some notifications and if we have some error in here, it will throw in 505 error, but not to worry, uh, 500 error, sorry. Now, we know with the portal action, we want to render the portal html.twig. Let's create this. This is gonna be in templates, new folder content, and we're gonna create the portal.html.twig. For this file, I'm gonna copy a uh, bootstrap example which is pretty simple, just uses the CDN bootstrap links. We're gonna paste this in here. And now we're already set up to create our first document. Let's add a simple page, blank for now, since we, since we haven't con um, accessed any of them. Let's gonna start with home. This is our home page. In the settings, you can set the controller and the action. Let's close this up to see more. And this will be our content controller with the portal action. Let's save and publish and reload our page. And we already have our page as we copied it from Bootstrap. Fully functional. But now you can any, uh, edit anything in here uh, so it would be useless to use PIMCO for this. Let's make some simple changes so we can change the headline, the description and the text down here. In the portal, let's close the navigation, go down here and here we should have the H1. Instead of this text, we're gonna open bracket, open bracket, close bracket, close bracket, 
and write pimcore input headline. With this, we're gonna we're telling pimcore to render an editable. It's called editable in pimcore with of the type input with the identification headline right at this spot. Now, if we reload, we have an input field here. Sometimes they're collapsed. I'm not sure why, but just highlight editable elements like this and it should expand. Now we can enter our text here. And if we save and publish and reload the page, it's still there. Now let's go on with the next one. We see we have some links in here. So we want, let's get this font size into the upper container since we won't have this anymore. Like so. Here we want more features. So we're gonna use a PIM core. What you see is what you get fields, calling it content. This we're gonna get outside of our new diff. Let's actually go like this. We'll contain this in a separate diff and have this in here. Okay, so we can use the font size class in this diff container. Okay, let's reload. I seem to have misspelled something. Reload again. And now we have a what you see is what you get field. Of course, I deleted all the content, so I don't know what text was in there anymore. Let's copy it back from here. This should be all. Let's go like this. Open the source code because we have some markup in here. Click save and we are back to where it was. We don't need this. Uh, save and publish. Reload. And we still have everything we need. We can edit the link now how we want and so on. Last but not least, this text field down there. I'm quite sure that we might want to have some links in there or something, but for the sake of the tutorial, let's get that into our Let's copy this text and try out a different editable from PIMCore, which is called text area. Uh, let's call it description. This one is much simpler. We only have the possibility to enter text and make uh, new lines. Okay, now we want to edit those buttons. For this, we're gonna use another editable from PIMCore, which is called PIMCore Link. Let's call this button one. And here we see we have some classes, so the button is formatted nicely. So let's just add those right here with class, button, button primary. Let's save it reload and we can edit here. You see, you don't see any buttons since it's not filled. Let's fill something in. Let's copy the text here, get the same link. So we are where we were before. Since it's not our site, let's open blank. And now you see the button is formatted nicely. You can edit it here or even open the document using this button. So we can delete this one and we're just gonna copy the same stuff again, calling it button two and have secondary. Let's not delete this already since we might still need it to copy. Reload the page and enter our text and link. This is also not our page, so we're gonna open blank. Now we can delete this button and we're already set. 
So this is an easy setup, how you can get from a static page to a page you can edit inside the PIMCore admin interface. In the next tutorial, we're gonna create a layout so you can reuse the same layout like the nav bar, the includes, the links and so on for each and every page. So you don't have to copy and paste the whole content of the layout every time. See you then.